Tuna have been uh, rising in demand for a number of years and, and the, the topic is controversial. However, aquaculture can be used to make a more sustainable production of these species. If you work with closed cycle cultivation, if you feed them formulated diets, what you are doing is providing a permanence and sustainability to this industry. Tunas in general are overexploited. They are overfished, so growing them in controlled conditions in a closed cycle is the only hope for these species to get saved from extinction. One thing to keep in mind is that while bluefin tuna are important to us as humans, they're even more important to the ocean and all animals living inside it. That's because bluefin tuna are a keystone species, which means their endangerment can have a serious impact on local ecosystems. Specifically, the decline of tuna can lead to the rise of prey, like jellyfish, squid, and octopus. Researchers say bluefin tuna is now an endangered species, we fed yellowtail, we've always known that tuna would be the most challenging species. They're like the lion of the sea and they're very finicky on what they eat. So trying to figure out how to feed tuna was very important to us, especially once we learned that researchers have learned how to hatch tuna from eggs. Other companies are doing what's called ranching tuna versus farming. Ranching was a step in the right direction, but when a fish is ranched, it's taken from the wild as a juvenile and kept in captivity until harvest. Because of this, ranching still disrupts the wild population. Even with a controlled environment, incubation is the most challenging part of farming bluefin tuna, as there's only a 1% chance of survival after hatching. 当社は30年以上てきましたこの事業てで色々てすねその間卵はてすねあの取れなかったりあの卵が取れてもてすね稚魚がうまく育たなかったりとあの一つ一つてすね課題をクリアして今事業を